I'm Janessa Touche. I play the role of Alice. She's very spunky and she's full of adventure. She's ready for anything. How did I get in the role of playing Alice? Um, I watched the movie with Johnny Depp from 2010, which is insane, it's crazy. And I kept thinking to myself, how are we supposed to do this in a ballet? You know, it's, it's just insane, like the background and the characters, but now rehearsing it and, and um, seeing how it, it flows and everything, it's just insane, it's crazy. And the most challenging part about the partnering is um, I'm upside down and hanging by one leg with the cat and you know I didn't think we were ever gonna get it so we finally did the other day so my costume is really cool as you can see and it spells out Alice in the fabric which I think is pretty awesome and I'm a little bit nervous about it because it's very slippery and with all the partnering I think it's gonna be a challenge but I think she's pretty <laughs> I think everybody's going to love this ballet. I mean, it's, it's nothing like we've ever done. Peter Pan kind of came close to this with the flying and stuff, which we do again in this, but everybody. I mean, my little nephew, he's coming in from New Orleans to see it. Any kid of any age, adults, my mom, she'll love it. It's going to be great. My role at Cincinnati Ballet is principal ballet mistress. That means that I rehearse the dancers, I teach class along with our artistic staff and members of our staff of the school, um, and basically I make their daily schedule, I organize their lives, I make sure that they know what they're doing every day, whether they understand their placement on the stage or they understand the music or we work on the partnering together, so it's every aspect of the production. Alice in Wonderland is a visual eye candy. A lot of times when you go to the ballet, you expect beautiful dancers, you expect beautiful music. In this production, we have a full-blown, full production. The costumes were designed by Liz Vandell, who worked on Cirque du Soleil, I'm sure in various other credits to her name. Um, so they are luscious, they are um, opulent, they are crazy, they are eccentric, and they really um, add to the choreography because that is really what the choreography is like as well. In Alice in Wonderland, I'm working with the dancers. Um, specifically, I'm setting all the steps for this ballet. Uh, along with uh, Luis Torres, who is a dancer from Washington Ballet. He was here previously and worked with them on some of the difficult partnering sections that he had created at Washington Ballet. The children in this production are very important. They're throughout the entire ballet, and um, they really play a, a big role. Again, their their um, characters are fun and opulent and cute. The most challenging part of this uh, teaching process, I'm going to have to wait and tell you later because I'm not done. We've really rehearsed a week on it um, with, my, with my choreography. Um, it's going to be getting it all put together. It's such a huge production. It is to the scale of Nutcracker. Um, and it's the individual pieces are fairly manageable, but when you get it all together with the props and the costumes and the dancers and the kids and um, the music, which has been um, orchestrated specifically for uh, a full orchestra, um, that all is going to be a challenge and fitting all that into a week and then having a great show. <laughs>